When looking at rank systems in games, one usually aspires to be a part of the higher ranks. I'd assume that a good chunk of players play games to be competitive, as I'm also that type of player, although it does depend on a game to game basis and how much I actually enjoy it. Hi guys, this is Egwick, and today we're talking about the sad truth behind the rank system. If you like this vid, please consider subscribing. Anyway, with most games, going from a low rank to high rank can be one of the most satisfying feelings ever. Sweating and climbing your way through bad teammates, bad decisions, and even bad mental states can be tough. And you should feel rewarded for the amount of time and effort you put into the game. That's great. You get better, you place higher, and generally feel good about yourself. In most cases, the ranking system is a core mechanic behind matchmaking, fair play, and the overall multiplayer ecosystem. But with any system that ranks players, there will always be problems. No rank system is perfect after all. If anything, one thing is clear. If a player moves up a ranking, then another player moves down. That's just how these types of systems work. Not everyone can be in the top 1%, and this inevitably means that some players might not ever rank up. You might be stuck in silver for who knows how long, and it might not even be your fault, although it's usually because you're just not good enough. There are a ton of factors, like I talked about in my previous vids, but it might also be that everyone's improving and you just need to improve faster than everyone else if you want to rank up. The sad truth is that it takes a lot of time and effort to become good at a game and you just might not have that. Time dedicated to playing is one thing that'll always be present no matter what game you choose. There are ways to improve faster by being smart about it, but it'll never replace the hours spent grinding. Players don't magically get better overnight after all. That said, whether you can't play because you don't have enough time or because you only enjoy games occasionally, it's perfectly fine to be a low ranked player. Just because you're a low rank doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the game any less than someone who's high ranked, and while I understand that many players see rank as a status symbol or indicator of skill, we need to realize that players have different goals when it comes to playing games. Some just want to relax and have fun while trying to win, and some might be pushing for rapid improvement. Either way, it's not a crime to be bad. Lastly, some people just need to accept that you might have hit your peak given your circumstances. At the end of the day, you need to ask yourself, is this something I enjoy doing and is my goal worth pursuing? Now, I'm not trying to discourage anyone with this. In fact, the idea for this video came about because I've seen a lot of players asking to be boosted or carried. If you want to hit a high rank, do it with your own skill. If you can't, then there's always room for improvement. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm sorry if I come off a bit harsh, but I really do believe in this philosophy? Mindset? Uh, I, I don't really know what to call it. But yeah, if you guys have any comments or suggestions, I'd love to hear them down below. Also, thank you so much for 137k subscribers. This is Egwick, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.